Welcome back to the channel. Kush King 17 here, back with another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Kush Kingdom. Like, comment, subscribe. Today we're gonna talk about the problem with drug tests. Before we get into the video, if you smoke, uh, get your lighters ready, get your bonds, clean your bonds. You know, you can pause it, go get whatever you need. Smoke with me, I'm finna smoke a joint today. Uh, it's rainy, it seems like every time I come in here, it's always raining outside, so ain't nothing better than a rainy hot box. If you're not smoking, you're welcome to watch the video as well. Now, I just took a drug test about six days ago. What better way to celebrate than to smoke? It's the best way to celebrate it, uh, passing a drug test. Thing I think a lot of people really don't talk about when it comes to drug testing, everybody talks about how to pass it using the quick fix, Serto, everything, right? But nobody ever talks about the actual problem the issue with drug testing. And I think for the past like few years, a video every year talking about how to pass a drug test, easiest method, best method. It's kind of it's kind of crazy that we allow companies to invade our privacy like that. And you know, as an employer, I get it. I don't want my workers high at work or on anything at work. That's understandable. If I can see and everybody can visually see that you're on something or anything, like I totally get the, the idea of it. Now there's one problem with it though in which everybody probably knows. The biggest issue, they drug test for marijuana, THC. THC sticks to the body much longer than a lot of other substances. You could smoke a joint three months ago and it could still show up in urine. It's gonna show, it definitely can show up in your hair, your fingernails. It sticks to the body much more longer than anything else, any other substance. Compared to everything else, THC really sticks to the body longer than anything else. That causes a lot of issues because whatever I do when I'm not at work, I shouldn't decide my employment status of a job what i've done at home doesn't have anything to do with what i do at work you know what i mean i think a lot of people lose their jobs their sanity and you know we got random drug tests it, it's real it's a real stressful actual topic because the pro i don't think that like i said i don't think the problem is with drug testing i think the problem is with drug testing for thc thc in some type of form is legal in america in all 50 states and i'm not even saying like just regular marijuana i'm saying like cbd has traces of THC. You can fail a drug test if you use CBD, which isn't psychoactive. So you won't get high from CBD. You'll be able to function and everything. I'm applying for a job and I just use CBD for pain management because it is 100% legal in America. I have a good chance of failing a drug test, even if I don't consume regular THC, but it's legal. You see the problems? And then now it's even so much more products are available to all 50 states, which even if you have in a quote unquote illegal state, they have Delta 8, they have HHC, all these different cannabinoids, which can still lead to you potentially failing a drug test. I know in some states that are legal, they do have certain laws where some employees can't or employment companies they don't drug test for thc they don't drug test for marijuana and that's good but still in a lot of states even in the legal states they have where they do drug tests for that and it's just not fair even in the transportation everyone says uh they don't want anybody high or anything on the job of course we're not saying that but with THC, I can literally be sober all day. And if I smoke that joint after work, when I get off, it's gonna show up on a drug test at least for up to one to two months if I'm not, if I'm just a casual smoker. For heavy smokers, it's gonna show up for months. Like it's gonna, for your hair, it's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a really long time, especially if you're a heavy smoker. And that's just not fair because if you compare it to alcohol, you can get drunk the night before and I can go to work fine. But if I smoke a joint the night before and then I get randomly piss tested like three weeks later, I'm gonna fail. And it, that's just really unfair. Even if I don't smoke, if I use CBD, a topical, a lotion, anything, and then trying to pass a, a piss test when you're dirty, like the, the anxiety that comes with, the stress and anxiety that comes with potentially failing and losing your job and losing your money, all because I wanted to smoke a, a joint a couple weeks ago. And it just it just seems really unfair. Society still hasn't accepted the use of marijuana yet, at least not 100%. Instead of keep trying to pass a drug test and keep trying to get around the system, we need to attack it head on and actually do something about these testing policies, at least remove THC from these testing policies because it's, it's completely unfair. I mean, imagine the, the amount of money that these companies are missing out on because they test for marijuana. Amazon doesn't test for THC. Clearly it works and it's clearly not a problem. So I don't really understand what the companies are waiting for. I guess, especially they're just waiting for federal legalization or just rescheduling. It's still schedule one, but 
they're they're talking about they want to bring it down to schedule three and i think once it becomes if it becomes lower than schedule one substance then i think a lot of changes would be in the workplace as far as removing it and another thing issue that people like to say is we haven't had the technology for uh like a breathalyzer for weed basically and that's partly true because you can't really determine i mean they have uh, like saliva tests and everything and but compared, they don't have the same technology they have with alcohol where you can test to see if somebody's drunk on the spot. And I believe that they really can do it if people actually are pushing for it. They were pushing for that because a lot of people were drunk driving and probably getting away with it. Drunk and high is completely two different things. But at the same time, just for those people who want to make that comparison for it not being a breathalyzer for weed, if people want it and if people, actual people actually put more notice on the subject then i think the technology will come if anybody has an issue with something usually they find solutions to that problem if there was enough people worried like actually pressing for this issue to change in the workplace in the drug testing policies for marijuana they would come out with the technology they would have no other choice the people really have the power in that situation if we were pushing for legalization so much we also need to push for in a way societal legalization of course it's not for everyone but in the vast majority it's it's harmless in a lot of ways compared especially compared to alcohol alcohol is probably one of the worst drugs really like that's really ex socially accepted i think it's the worst drug that's socially accepted and all that being said yeah, I think we just need to really start attacking the center of the problem and actually really just, I don't know, protesting, whatever people like changing workplace poli drug testing policies. I mean, I don't know how we allow people, the government or whatever, to just get into it and know what we do when we're not at work. It's just kind of I uh, like I said, I understand, but it's still just kind of strange in a way at the same time. So if you ever failed a drug test i've only failed one drug test my whole life i've took i've taken like i want to say seven drug tests and i've oh yeah i've only failed one that was about four or five years ago tell me your drug testing stories tell me how y'all passed if you were surprised because i know some people are heavy smokers and then you know they just drink a whole bunch of water and you know they kind of dilute they pee a little bit i hear these stories they pass end up passing drug tests some companies don't even care. Like some companies don't care if you fail THC for sure. Yeah, let me know your drug test stories. I know they're so stressful. So if you got a drug test coming up, let me know. If, if there's anything you can do like to spread the whole workplace awareness, man, send this to somebody, help like help out. Cause more people, I'm tired of trying to figure out how to pass a drug test. I don't want to have to drug, have to pass a drug test for weed anymore. So yeah, if you do got a drug test coming up, good luck. You know you gotta pass if you don't pass it's not the end of the world though you're still alive you still can smoke and another thing i forgot to mention drug testing kind of fuels into the social stigma like as soon if you ever fail a drug test like i know a lot of people sorry they feel so bad and then now the employer just thinks they're on drugs and it's it's a whole dilemma with it and I, like it's just really negative you if you fail the drug test it's okay bro like it's jobs out here everywhere it's always you'll always be able to make money no matter what and yeah let's just spread more awareness on the drug testing policies we need to get this out of the out of the employment system at least here in america it's just really ridiculous so if you like the video man subscribe to my channel check out my other videos the end of the month moving to a legal state so i'm gonna be out of this car i know a lot of my videos are made in this car so bear with me still remember to spark and subscribe